What's up everybody? My name is El Jefe. I'm a Twitch streamer who mostly plays Project 1999 EverQuest. You can find me right over there. And today we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to share with you guys my opinions on each and every starting city on Project 1999. These opinions will be organized into a tier list with S tier being at the top and D tier all the way at the bottom. Now, it's important to remember that these are just my opinions. If you disagree, I invite you, please share your tier lists in the comments below. I'm going to be trying to get through these as quickly as possible. So excuse me if I leave out any details. First up, we have Kabilis, the home of the Ixar. Now, Kabilis is a fantastic city in terms of lore, atmosphere, and the wide variety of content that is available right outside its gates. On the other hand, that content comes at a cost, as this city is huge compared to a lot of towns in Norath, and very, very easy for new players to get lost in. For those reasons, I'm going to have to give Kabilis a... B tier rank. Next up, it's everyone's favorite slum. This is Freeport. Now, Freeport is another city teeming with fantastic atmosphere. I have a huge uh, sense of nostalgia just running through the streets. There's a lot of great quests, a lot of great lore, and it has close proximity to the central hub of commerce on P99. For these reasons, I'm gonna have to give Freeport an A ranking. Next up, it's the home of the Barbarians. This is Hallis. And I gotta say right off the bat, this is not one of my favorite cities. It is small and uninteresting, yet easy to get lost in. And it's home of some of the most Ugly artwork in all of Norath. Plus, the newbie zone out in Everfrost is just deadly and terrible. Now, because EverQuest is such an amazing game, no town can possibly receive an F rating from me, but this is about as close as you can get. Palace receives a D ranking, as low as I can possibly get on this list. Sorry, Barbarians. Next up is probably my favorite of the three elven cities available on P99. This is Felwhip, home of some of the most memorable art uh, in early EverQuest. And I really just think this town is laid out very well, very densely. It's easy to get to all the merchants and all the guilds. And I can't say I've ever felt lost here. Because of all those reasons, I'm going to give Felwith a B ranking. Next up is the other side of the coin. This is Kelethin. I don't like Kelethin. Everything looks the same, and you fall off and you die. D tier. Next up is the final... Elven City on P99, the home of the Dark Elves, Niriak. Now, at first glance, Niriak can seem kind of confusing, but after a few trips, it's really not that difficult. There's a lot of great lore, a lot of easy quests, and the Foreign Quarter in particular is uh, very atmospheric. It's fun to see all those neutral and good aligned races down here in this evil dungeon. And as far as the evil aligned cities in vanilla EverQuest, it is by far the best one. For those reasons, I'm giving Niriak a B tier ranking. Next up is the home of the Erudites. This is Erudin. Now, I like the look of this town. 
and I like the atmosphere, and I've been told there's a lot of really cool quests. But at the start of a server, if you are starting in Erudin, you might as well be starting on the moon. It is just so far from everywhere else in EverQuest that I really have to knock it quite a few points. Additionally, the newbie area in Toxulia Forest leaves a lot to be desired. For those reasons, I'm giving Erudin a D tier ranking. Next up is the home of evil aligned erudites. This is Pain Eel. Now, in stark contrast to Erudin, I think Pain Eel is an incredibly solid newbie town. There is a newbie yard with a lot of different monsters milling around for you to kill, including decaying skeletons that drop the all important crack staves, cloth armor and uh, bone chips. And after you finish up here in this yard, you can then wander over and enter one of the, I would say best newbie dungeons in the game in the Warrens. For those reasons, I have to give Pain Eel an A ranking. Next up is the home of the ogres. This is Ogok. Um, I don't really have any strong feelings about Ogok. I think the whole zone is kind of samey looking like everything kind of blends together in a way that I don't really like a lot. I don't know of any amazing newbie quests. Um, perhaps I'm mistaken about this, but it just not doesn't seem like the best experience for a starting character and because of that i am going to give ogok a c ranking next up it's pretty much ogok but worse this is the home of the trolls grob and it suffers from a lot of the same problems i think that ogok does not a lot of great quests the newbie area is one of the worst in Inethul Swamp. Everything looks pretty much the same, just rocks, swamp, some wood, that's it. And uh, it probably stinks to high heaven, if I just had to guess. For those reasons, I'm giving Grob a D tier ranking. Next up is probably my favorite city in all of Norath. This is Rivervale. And let me tell you, this is a great place to start a character. Not only does it have my favorite newbie zone in the game right outside Misty Thicket, but everything is just laid out so well. You've got the bank there. The warrior guild is right above it. You've got this tavern that holds the rogues guild then around the corner you've got these this little little farm over here that uh the druids do their stuff at it's awesome i love it the perfect starting area for your jrr tolkien nerds <laughs> because of all those reasons i'm giving rivervale a S tier ranking. Next is a city that I really, really want to like, but somehow I keep getting lost in it. And then I go mad from the constant ticking. This is Zakanon, home of the gnomes. And I think thematically it's cool. I love seeing clockwork robots in fantasy properties. Um, but I have to say it's damn near unusable for newbies. I have more new viewers that tell me that they're lost in Akanon than any other city in Norath. The newbie zone is pretty good and I love the big giant gears and everything, but all in all, I have to give this city a 
tier ranking. Next is the underground home of the dwarves. This is Kaladim. And I gotta say, of all the towns on Fadeware, it's probably my favorite. There's some great newbie quests involving Scarab Armor. There are there the place where you turn in Crushbone Orc Belts is here. It's not a confusing layout. I don't find myself getting lost here very much at all, nor does anyone tell me that they're lost in Kaladim. Um, there's a mine that's really cool. And uh, the newbie area of Butcher Block Mountains is probably one of the best in the game. For those reasons, I've got to give Kaladim an A tier ranking. And finally, I think I've saved the best for last. This is Kinos, the very first city developed for EverQuest. And the extra effort shows Kinos feels alive. There's constant NPCs milling around, going about their day. And it makes it one of the most atmospheric cities in the game. Additionally, I think it has more quests than any other city in the game. It's also a, situated above its own dungeon, the Kinos Aqueducts, and is located outside of the Kinos Hills, a very good newbie area that uh, has its own newbie dungeon, Blackborough. For all these reasons, I've got to give Kinos an S tier ranking, truly the very best in EverQuest. So there you have it, guys. That's how I feel about every starting city in Norath. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and find me over here at Twitch TV slash El Jefe. Also, let me know what your tier list is in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.